So now we have our cupcake finished. So we are going to uh, work with cre uh, correcting the color. And one of the ways you can do it is using the eyedropper tool. So what you need to do is you have to go to your selection tool and we need to select all of the things that we want by holding down the shift key and selecting them. Then we're going to go to the eyedropper tool, which is the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the eleventh one down. And then if you click on the color you want it to be, it will make everything within that grouping that color. So now you can just click on the selection tool, click off of it, and you have that. So we're going to go ahead and select it again, and we're going to hide it by going to Object Hide Selection so that we can work on the next thing. The next thing is the lettering saying The Bakery. And you need to go to OneDrive and go to the Shared With Me Digital Arts 3 folder and download the lettering.psd. So once you have that downloaded, don't copy and paste it, download it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and go to File, Place. And I have this right now on my jump drive. So it's a PSD file. And then you're going to say Place. And now you get this corner and it kind of shows you a preview of what it's going to be. So we're going to just make it, you know, pretty big. We can resize it at any time. And so now we have this in. Unfortunately, Illustrator doesn't have anything like the magic wand tool that you can just go around and click on the white to get rid of all of the background. But so what we need to do is with this still selected up here in the top, um, toolbar, we're going to go to Window, Image Trace. So now that we have Image Trace, we have all of these options. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to put it into black and white. So it's the one, two, three, four, five, fifth one over. We're going to call it black and white. And then the Advanced tab here, if it's not already opened, we need to go ahead and open it. And we can go down to ignore white under options. So it will take the white away. And so then we can go ahead and close this. I want to leave it selected, but I want to give the lettering an, a gradient effect. So to do that, we're going to keep this selected and we're going to go up here to this uh, toolbar and we're going to hit expand. And that will give me um, all of that selection. So now we'll go over here and we will go to uh, window gradients. And within this window, we're going to choose some stuff. The first thing is the back or the, the one color, the fill color. We're going to go ahead and choose black. And on the stroke color, we're going to put in a stroke color of 50, 75, 80, and 70 in the CMYK, which is for the print colors. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go over here, up here to this toggle switch. We're going to click on it and make sure white and black is selected. So you can see how mine changed and it's kind of gone from this to this. So now that that's done, you can go to the gradient tool once you click on it, you see how you get all of these dots. You can then click and drag and it will change your 
gradients so that it has the backgrounds and so on done from that standpoint. See, if I change all of these, it would do some gradients from left to right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, that might be a little bit bright. So we're going to do this over again. So we're going to select and make sure it's on expand. And we will go here to the gradient tool. And we want to go back to black and white. Wrong one, window, gradient. So now that changed. Why did that change? Interesting. See, it doesn't always work for everybody the same way uh, every time. So you guys just have to work with it. 80 and 70. So we're going to hit OK. So there you go. So now that gives us a brown uh, outline and then it's got the gradient going from black to white on that. So you can go from there.